morning, everybody. This is a story regarding the Mishkan utility. That utility is Mishkan. I'm a real estate broker that's been involved in properties within Wayne County, Metro Detroit. These are some of the problems I've encountered dealing with Mishkan. And I would like to relate this story to you. If you have approximately 30 minutes, please join us. My first problem began with Mishkan is when I purchased this building. This was a church. This entrance here was a church. I, we purchased the building from uh, Mr. Henry Haywood. But what I did, I was actively selling real estate, so I put Mr. Haywood over the building, and he managed the building. We had the gas turned off at Mishkan, and the tenants turned the gas back on. Gas was turned on for approximately 17 months. These are represents the months and the time the gas was on. Only six months was winter months. If you look at the average person turns their heat on around October, October the 15th, turn it off around April 15th. You have six months to the day. Mishcon billed me for $8,368. Now this was for only a six month period because the remainder month, the only thing that was on was hot water heaters. That's why I still wonder to this day, how could they reach a figure like this? You could buy a small car with this, you know, looking at this price, you can buy a small car. And second of all, tenants that turned the heat on failed to put hot water in the boiler and which destroyed the furnace. Third thing, after Mishcon would not even talk to me regarding this astronomical figure, I had to approach Bobson Construction Company, who installed nine furnaces and did the duct work at a cost of more than $40,000. That's $40,000. You know, if you notice with homelessness and with vacant abandoned buildings in this city, this is one of the main reasons you see bacon in abandoned buildings because of Mishcon.
approximately 1988, we purchased this building. Mishcon allowed, asked us to pay $1,600 security deposit. After we paid the $1,600 security deposit, we didn't receive a bill in approximately four months. What I did was a cost breakdown. From, 19, from the year 1991 to 92, Mishcon charged approximately $10,000 to heat the building you just saw. Until you do a cost breakdown, you do not realize how ridiculous this is. My water bill for a year, for on a yearly basis, run approximately $1,800. Detroit Edison runs approximately $2,200. These are approximate figures. Uh, the insurance on the building runs approximately $1,500. General upkeep, $3,500 for the building, and that figure is high. And your tax is about $3,600. Now, if you look at the other variables and add this factor in, Mishcon for six months is charging $10,000 for steam heat. Now, what Mishcon has done, this is one of the main reasons you get urban blight. Mishcon is basically trying to do to my building what they did to other inner city buildings, which you will see. Trading Time magazine led me to the apartment building you just witnessed. The, the thing is, as I talked to the owner, she was complaining about $1,800 gas bills. Let me point out to you, the, the address of the building is 711 Alexandrine. She has a 55 unit building and she was complaining about $1,800 gas bills. The problem is on the building I showed you in Highland Park, 106 Brighton, where I showed you I'm, I got a $10,000 gas bill over one year. It's only 16 units. back at the building in Highland Park, 106 Brighton, where Mishcon tried to charge approximately $10,000. The reason being all my checks, if you notice, is paid under duress. This has been going on for over five years, paid under duress. In other words, I don't think I owe this amount, but I paid them to keep my gas on. At this time, the gas is off in this building. Uh, Mishcon is billing me for approximately 15,000. On this bill, it shows 14,000. What Mishcon did was on the first building you saw, they transferred $8,367.
which they stated I owe, which I do not owe. They, they transferred it to this building because they didn't like some of the things or didn't like me protesting that their rates are way too high and way out of line for inner city property, especially when you're dealing with people where you can't go up on the rent. Their income is, is in most cases, a certain amount, and they don't get the raises like suburbanites get every six or eight months or every year. So as landlords, we can't go up on rent in most cases. seen my home in Oakland County, approximately 3,400 square feet. Uh, this house also has two furnaces, yet my gas bills, which come from Michigan Consolidated, not Michigan, is rarely over $200. So in the next, on my next property I show you, we're going to do a comparison. Remember, this house is approximately 3,400 square feet with two furnaces. I'm going to, my next property I'm going to show you is approximately 2,700 square feet with one furnace, which is steam heat, forced water heat. 